My name is Roland Sawatsky. I'm the curator of history at the Manitoba Museum. And this exhibit really is about the suffragist movement uh, that culminates in the 1916 right to vote. And uh, it's the 100th anniversary in 2016, that's what we're going for. Um, and it's really about the, the women that made this happen and the conditions that were there. It was a time of radical change in the Prairie Provinces and radical change in society in general. Uh, and some of these women really were at the forefront of that change. Well, artifacts from that movement, from that period, are, are quite rare and almost nothing comes down to us. So what we're looking for are uh, artifacts that are related to women who were involved in the movement. It could be a hat or shoes that they marched in, everyday items. Um, and so in the exhibit we'll have a mix of the two. We have a few pieces. This is one of my favorites, uh, a Votes for Women pennant. And this is a pennant that would have been tied to a stick or something and, uh, and waved around at, at a march. It was purchased at a garage sale in the 70s and this gentleman was a collector and he donated it to the museum in the summer. So that's a great piece, and quite rare. This jacket belonged to E. Cora Hind, who was a major player in the suffragist movement, and it's a moose hide jacket with uh, silk embroidery. It's believed to be Northern Cree in origin, and it's just a fantastic, beautiful, beautiful artifact. And to have something like this connected with such an important person in the movement is really special for us. That's the history we want. We want those personal connections. Who did it belong to? Why was it important to your family? Um, how, did it, how did it survive over the last hundred years? There's so much uh, potential to learn uh, about history just from that object and just from the stories that the donor tells us. And so if you feel that an object should be shown or should be in our collection, contact us because we want to talk to you about that. Um, we want to grow our collection so that future generations of Manitobans can appreciate it.